Yo, Yo, good morning, everybody. Can you guess where we are right now? Auckland, the Mystic Airport. <laughs> this is the first time we will be taking a flight since we've been back to New Zealand, and we are headed to South, South Island. Island. Super excited! This is going to be an epic nine-day trip. Can't wait to take you along with us. We are going to Queenstown, Milford Sounds, Wanaka, Fox and Glacier, and Franz Josef Glacier. We're just going to have a quick bite to eat, and then we're hopping on our plane. Let's go. See you soon. Thank you very much for your patience, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We've arrived, guys. <laughs> Super happy to be here. Tell you, I was immensely relieved when we um, touched down because that motion sickness was so bad for <laughs> me. When we had a little snooze and woke up on the um, yeah. flight, you could look over the window and just see right absolute side. amazingness. I think that's what people think of when they think of um, New Zealand, those incredible snow-capped mountains. They think of Queenstown. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we are. See you guys at the rental transit where we pick up our car. Time to get our car. It's a Toyota Aqua. Apparently so, we got upgraded because yeah. now it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. I don't know. I don't know if that's an upgrade or, not. <laughs> I don't know that right. or what. But pretty excited because this means we can go now. We're jumping right into our first activity. We are almost at Moonlight Stables, which is Queenstown's oldest horse trekking company, established since 1962. It's only about 10 minutes from the airport, so we're almost there. Somehow, I don't know why, I don't think I was actually picturing a stable, but this is a full on yeah. real stable right <laughs> over here. Got all the little horses and stuff in there. Well, actually, they're not that little, so they're pretty big horses. <laughs> I'm here with Zoe. Hiya. <laughs> Zoe's mum owns the stable, and Zoe's gonna give us a bit of a rundown because some of these horses are famous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Behind us, we have Fred, and he was in the first Lord of the Rings movie. Good morning. Hi, Fred. Did you see him on the movie? You can, yeah. He's in the river scene. So he's Boy, and he looks after all the kids now. Oh, hey. nice. super cute. And you mentioned some of these horses were MPV. MPV yeah, movies, so we have so. Mr. White here. Right. The one you guys are going to ride today as well. Yeah. Mr. White was in MTV X on the Beach and on the first Air New Zealand safety video. Oh, nice. oh awesome. Yeah. Buster, who are you going to be on? He was in a Bollywood movie. So this is Peter's horse. Yeah. Buster. 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 And I got Mr. Say White. Hi to him if you want. Hey, Buster. Finishing off his lunch. Is there like a white right way to say hi to a horse? You can say, so a lot of them like you to sniff your hand first and right. then you can just give them a rub on their face oh, or on I their see. neck. Can't wait, we are all geared up now. Yeah, there you go, there you go. On, Apparently I'm going uh, Western Saddle. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I feel like it needs one of these. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll go get you guys ready. Awesome, right, thank, thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, go! Beautiful! Nice! Yeah, it's been a while since we've been on a horse. The last time was, I think, in Bali, is that yeah, right? Yeah, like three yeah. or four years ago. And we did not get anywhere up close and personal like this, getting to, you know, touch and stroke and all that stuff. So this is pretty amazing. Yen and I are off! So in Bali, we actually had to get guided horses, but this time around, we're free to roam just us. Well, we've got um, Misha with us. <laughs> Going for a bit of a faster gallop now. <laughs> if you're looking to do this experience, it's $120 per person and it lasts for about an hour and a half. Beautiful riding through all the countryside. And they do do some special uh, events as well. So if you want like wedding photos and that kind of stuff done here, you can do that. I don't know the prices for that. You're gonna have to check the uh, details on the website, which we'll leave in the description down below. Another thing you're gonna be able to see on this ride are these elk over here, which kind of look like Harry Potter's Patronus. Wow. Yeah, they are super massive. They look like they're molting a little and you can see their massive antlers. Another awesome thing about Moonlight Stables is that they cater for all abilities as well. So like us who are pretty amateur, <laughs> straight up to the um, more pro riders. 
Plus, it's also a great activity for families too. Kids can do this. And yeah, how amazing is it that you get to see all these deers too? Perfect. All right. <laughs> that was so cool. I loved it. <laughs> it feels funny, right? So slobbery. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. White. Thank you, Mr. White. So we just finished up and that was an epic time out there. Yes, We've got to say a big thank you again to Misha for being our guide and also Zoe who introduced us to all the horses and everything too <laughs> yeah it's a family run business and we had a blast and right now we're about to head off to queenstown hill which is apparently meant to have some epic views of yeah. the town made it all the way to queenstown hill there's yen yeah, trailing right in the back at the top, there's already a steep little walk <laughs> which is a little bit tiring but i'm sure this is going to be well worth the views yeah, you can't bring a drone to, well, you can bring a drone to Queenstown, but you can't fly it around. So we figure, we what better way <laughs> to get you some height and some views than climbing this hill. Yeah, as Yen says, it's quite an incline. Yes, yeah, right off the bat too. Sometimes when I see Yen struggling up these hills, <laughs> I like to be the wind beneath oh her God. wings. <laughs> this is a bit of a... A moderate climb. I would say it's challenging for me because I only had two and a half hours sleep last night and nowhere near enough food. Too excited for today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're maybe only about 20, 25 minutes up and we've just passed this section where there's so many of these little, what do you call them, statue rock, rock towers formation things. Like tons of them. I think people must pass here and Take a break, add to the collection. And then, yeah, <laughs> build their own. First lookout point over here, Basket of Dreams. You got a nice little peak of the Remarkables and Lake Wakatipu. But if you keep continuing on about another, I would say a good kilometre, you will reach the final lookout point, which is where we're going to persevere and go to. It's already taken us about 50 minutes just to get to this point. Yeah, that's because I held us back, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, bud. All right, should we keep on going? Yeah, should be about another 30 minutes, apparently. About an hour and 15 minutes later, we've made it to the top of Queenstown yes. Hill. What an achievement for me at least, <laughs> because that was quite a struggle. Definitely challenging. And I don't know if it's just because I was, you know, so tired from today, but... Yeah, it, it was pretty challenging, <laughs> but maximum effort and even more maximum reward on this one because the views are absolutely spectacular. 360 degrees Panoramic views. of mountain tops with snowy peaks at the top the and of course Remarkables, Lake Wakatipu as well so it's absolutely amazing. I think we're going to be spending quite a while up here just soaking it all in. <laughs> yeah if you love nature and you love getting outdoors and smelling some crisp air. And you like like one day hikes? A couple hours? A <laughs> couple of hour hikes not even one day then this is definitely for you. Remarkable just like oh, no, Remarkables. <laughs> Okay, we've made it back and someone's just chilling out in the car. Yes, oh my goodness, I was so tired, but that descent back was way quicker, thank goodness. <laughs> so yeah, the car park here, there's not too many spaces. I think but, there's um, enough for probably five cars. Five cars? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Get some We're food? We're gonna get some food and refill. <laughs> I found a Vietnamese place. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? Let's go. Our spot Saigon Kingdom. I can't wait to get some noodles and soup. Soup. 
super starving and thank goodness our food has arrived. I went ahead and got the chicken pho. I'd like to um, mix the hoisin sauce and the chili sauce so that I can dip my chili into it. But first, let's try out the noodles and the soup. It was hot <laughs> as well. But super delicious. That soup is really nice and um, flavorsome. It's salty, which I love too. And mixing it with that sauce together gives it that nice sharp spice on it. Chicken, well cooked as well. I'm gonna be very satisfied with this. I can't wait to devour it, but first let's flip it over to Peter and see what he got. I got the classic beef pho, and if you see a size difference between mine and Yen, that's because I went ahead and got the extra large and Yen just got the large. There's also a regular, which is yeah. even smaller than mine. <laughs> Try the broth first. Yeah, that tastes like a classic beef pho broth to me. You can taste the uh, five spice in there, and you can taste, of course, the beefy broth as well. Follow that with some noodles and the beef. I can see the rawness in the beef, which is what you would expect in a nice beef pho. That is fantastic. Especially after a long day like today, this is like comfort food to the max. Yes. Also got some cute little spring rolls over here. Give it a dip. Oh, man. That crunch was pretty loud. <laughs> delicious, delicious. And I'm sure Yen's is delicious as well. Three out of three. <laughs> Just finished dinner. That was a great find, Goop. Thanks for the props. <laughs> it's been an awesome day today. It like, oh man, South Island, if you're coming here, you're gonna be wowed, guarantee you, because the mountains, the lake, and we've just yes. been walking through the little town area. It's a great spot. There's heaps of restaurants, lots of shops as well. And this is actually our second vlog that we've made from Queenstown. You can check the other one out somewhere here. In next week's video, we're going to go to Te Ano and we're also going to go to Milford Sounds, which is going to be incredible. Can't wait for that. And guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, please do give us those likes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop us a comment. We really love hearing from you. And maybe you can share this around if you enjoyed it too, and others might as well. Yeah, but until then, we are going to turn in and get some rest. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. See ya. See ya.